morning everyone wow you're really getting my my morning face um now i am just here kind of starting my morning off i like to have a tea in the mornings i really don't love to have coffee in the mornings i'm more like an afternoon coffee drinker um i love to have an at like a coffee like around two three o'clock i feel like i get really tired around that time of day so that's when i like to have a coffee but for this morning i'm having um a vitamin c drink i've been having a lot of these lately obviously like being in the city i know that the risk is greater and i do have to take transit and i am obviously like potentially more exposed so anything i can do to kind of like boost my immune system just to make sure that i'm you know being healthy um i will do so i do try to take a vitamin c drink every morning the one that i'm taking right now is this one so this is a tangerine flavor although i do personally love the um orange flavor but i'm taking this one yeah, this is a tanger or sorry, yeah, tangerine flavor. Um, I do prefer the orange one, like I said, but that one will do. That was the only one that was available. So I just put one pack of those in my water in the morning, and then um, that's what I have before I eat. I feel like I shouldn't have it on an empty stomach, but anyway. So right now I'm just making myself a peppermint tea. My stomach is really, really sensitive. I get upset stomachs all the time which is one of the main reasons I do try to eat plant-based and no dairy. Obviously, I, I don't restrict anything from my diet. I like to ensure that if I'm craving a burger, I will eat a burger. Um, but obviously, it doesn't make me feel great. So when I can, I just kind of um, try and limit meat and dairy because I find that I do feel significantly better when I'm not eating any of those foods. Um, and peppermint tea is always my best friend. Um, I feel like I just, it makes my stomach better. So I'm having that along with my kind of a vitamin C drink. And that's my morning. So right now, I feel like we're just gonna have a chat. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit on the couch and we're gonna have a chat. Yeah. I feel like there is so much we need to catch up on. Um, first of all, I wanna say thank you guys for all your lovely birthday wishes. You guys were just brought so much joy to my day, but thank you. I wanna say thank you to all of you. Um, you're so sweet and I love that you're here. You guys make me so happy, honestly, like you don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so just thank you to you guys um, for all the lovely birthday wishes. It was honestly such a great weekend. Um, but aside from that, I also can't believe we have hit 13K, that's crazy. Um, so a mini kind of celebration there. I know every time I like try to celebrate a milestone, I feel like it just keeps growing. I know for my birthday, I wanted, I had hit 10K on my birthday and then like it, the day wasn't even over and we were at 11K. So we're like, we can't even celebrate a number. Um, but anyways, we are at 13K now and that is exciting. Um, so thank you guys for that. Um, but aside from that, I really need to talk about some makeup products, okay? Um, first of all, if you saw my birthday vlog, which I will leave somewhere up here, you saw that I bought a couple things at Sephora. So the first thing that I want to talk about is that the cleanser. Wow. Guys, that cleanser, I think it's the Skin Fix Cleanser. It is phenomenal. Like, it's easily, up until this day, the best cleanser I've ever tried. It does not leave your skin feeling dry. It also doesn't feel it leaving, like, I know some moisturizers or some cleansers leave your skin feeling dirty. I know, I've been there. This one does not. And for my double cleansers out there, I know some of you girls double cleanse. Um, what you can do is just use the cleanser twice. So use it once to take off like your makeup and your SPF, and then use it again to get that extra clean. I personally just use it once. I actually find it takes everything off. Um, and I always go in with a toner, so that's just gonna take off any kind of like leftover residue. And honestly, very little comes off, which is amazing for a cleanser that I only use once. I don't double cleanse. I find that's too much for my skin. But um, if there are some of you who do wanna double cleanse, you can, because that one actually doubles as makeup remover, SPF remover, and then just a cleanser for your face. 
so i know the price may be a little bit expensive for some but honestly totally worth it um i'm really really happy that the lady at sephora recommended that brand to me so i will link it down below because guys like it's so good i know the bottle isn't like the prettiest of colors but um it's like a blue color but it works so that's all that matters um the other thing is the rare okay selena gomez just like she did it rare beauty is just i can't get enough of it like i mean i'm gonna go buy the um blush i'm gonna have like the whole collection at one point but i've like I said, I started with the balm, the tinted balm. I got that one in Thankful. Love it. Use it every day, even before bed. Um, and then I got the concealer. Also love it. Um, although it's not full coverage, so I do actually use my NARS concealer underneath it. Because I do love like a full cover, like full coverage concealer for my under eyes. But that's okay. I still use it to kind of brighten up my under eyes. And then the highlighter okay even one of you girls asked me like she's like oh are you wearing the rare highlighter because i have to buy it yes yes it is phenomenal like it doesn't even look like highlighter it just looks like you're like glowing from within like it's honestly just it's so good um so that is a must i forget what color i got that one in mesmerize i got the highlighter in mesmerize and then i think i'm gonna do the blush i forget the color that i've been using but i got the sample pack like a little um sample from sephora and it came i think with like two or three colors or shades of the blush and i've been using one of them the other one that's in there is like the coral color i'm really afraid to use the coral color i don't really think that it's gonna work with my skin tone maybe i'll maybe i'll try it today i'm gonna do my makeup with you today maybe i'll try it today um but I'm just, I'm gonna do it. It looks so beautiful. I personally never used blush because I do have really rosy cheeks naturally. Like my cheeks get really red really easily. So I was always like, mm, I don't need blush. Like I have the redness there anyways. But um, oh, it looks so good. I just bring it up like all the way up here and it looks really, really pretty. So yeah, honestly, like, it's really nice. yeah, anyways. I'm gonna go um, just have a kind of a moment to myself this morning. Um, mornings are really important to me. I, they kind of set the tone for my day. So it's really important for me to have a really um, good environment in the morning. And yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And then um, I'll do my makeup with you in a little bit. So yeah, see you in a bit. Hello. Okay, so I'm just sat down in front of my window to do my makeup with you i'm obviously looking really washed out um i don't think i look that pale in person so we're gonna get myself dolled up we're gonna go to the grocery store so i just want to do something kind of a little bit more natural because obviously like it's really overcast today and i don't feel the need to do like a ton of makeup but this is kind of what i do on an everyday so i'm gonna start with spf this is actually an spf i really really like um i have tried multiple SPFs and this is the La Roche Posay Anthelios. Um it's got the 50 factor. It's really 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 good. Um honestly it does not break me out. Um and it also goes clear. So if there's any ladies that are that you've got like darker skin tones um this should not leave a white cast whatsoever. So I'm just applying that on. and then since my face is a little pale compared to the rest of my body i feel like i should turn a little bit it's okay i what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the laura mercier tinted moisturizer this one's a lot darker than my skin tone so i got mine in porcelain 1w1 porcelain so this is just gonna bring some like a little bit of color into my face but again like this doesn't cover anything up it's just really really natural okay 
that's that. The next thing I have been using a lot is this Rare Beauty um, concealer. As you can see, I bought in a really, really light color, and the reason is I wanted it to almost be like a brightening concealer. So I use, for my base of my concealer, I use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I go in kind of like on my darkest areas. And I'm using my Morphe brush. This is the best concealer brush, honestly. And I just kind of buff that in. The NARS is definitely a high, like more of a higher coverage. And so I find this really covers up any dark circles. It's almost like color correcting in a way. So that just kind of like really corrects anything in there. And then I will use my, I use so many concealers, but I use the Maybelline um, just got, everyone knows this guy. So I will go in in the outer corners, my eyelids, and just a little bit around my nose, nothing crazy. So again, I just kind of put this where I have redness and then I will blend this underwards, kind of, and then up this way. And then again, my eyelids get really red and kind of veiny, so I just cover that up. All right, I just kind of shifted you around, but the next thing I use is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, but I actually use this as kind of contour product, and I only really use a little bit. So I get it in the shade Espresso, um, there are, I know this line actually does carry like um, shades, especially for contouring, but I just picked one that worked for my skin tone. So for this, I really only just bring it up in the corner and I don't bring it down too much. This is not what I use as like bronzer, so I just kind of make sure that that's blended in. And I'm using my MAC, I can never see the color because it's MAC 188 brush. Um, honestly, these have been some of the best brushes I have ever owned. They're just so, so good. So this shade I will also bring around kind of my forehead to just give it some definition. Look like I've been sitting in the sun for some time when I haven't, but I will bring that in and around. Kind of like the perimeters of my face. My curlies are going crazy today. Um, again, I always want to make sure that color is really concentrated out here. Okay, so once I've gone in with that kind of along my cheekbones and then the perimeter of my face, I'll go in with my Chanel Soleil Tan Chanel. I've been using this for years, okay, and it just one, it smells phenomenal and two it just really does look beautiful I actually need to go out and buy more because I'm running out and I'll bring this down my nose as well again I love to look like I've been on the beach and that's kind of it for my bronzer really natural really minimal and honestly like when I'm in a rush this takes me like Five minutes to do this is when I will use blush and like I said okay so this is the sample that I got at Sephora and I'm still I'm still using it because I'm just trying to test the waters um, but I've been using the color bliss which is right here this is the color I was telling you about that I'm like really afraid to use Ooh, I don't know. not sure not sure but I just and this I'm essentially just grabbing my little stippling blush the same one I used for my contour and I'm just kind of dipping it in to the shade. And then I just go in and just kind of bring that on my cheeks. You really only need like the tiniest amount to. Like look how pretty that looks. I love that. 
Okay, so that's for blush. Again, I'm really only using a tiny, tiny amount. And now I will go in with my brightening concealer, which is so pretty. So this is in the shade 170W, so very, very, very light. Um, almost like a banana yellow color. And I will only use the tiniest amount of this. You don't need much at all. Um, that is something I've noticed about this product is that a little goes a long way. And it's also almost like a very liquidy um, consistency. It's not as thick as some of the other my like other concealers. And I will almost drag this along my eye and then into the center of my temple, like the center of my eye as well. Something about this concealer and um, I watched Jamie Page. Her mom did like the first kind of a trial on this concealer and she said she didn't set it. I definitely have to set this concealer. If I don't set it, it creases immediately. Um, but when I do set it, it is perfectly fine. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. For a brush, I'm using, again, a MAC, MAC 168. It's just a little... I think it's supposed to be a blush brush, but I use it for underneath my eyes. Um, I would typically put a little bit of eyeshadow, or rather bronzer, on my eyes as like a little bit of... Um, like eyeshadow, but it's just a really natural day, so I'm not doing much. Then the next thing, this highlighter, guys, looks phenomenal. So the way I like to apply it, um, and I know everyone applies it differently, again, using the same brush, really simple. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of drag it along here. And if there's too much, I will kind of tap it on my hand to make sure that there's not a lot. And then I will just kind of brush this on my cheekbones. And again, just kind of dipping it in there. And I bring this all the way up here, as you can see. And kind of into my cheeks. And then I love to bring this on the tip of my nose up my nose and my favorite thing to do is to bring it on my cupid's bows cupid's bow whatever you want to call it and i just kind of brush it on there i don't want a lot because i don't want it to look crazy <laughs> but and then i will just kind of brush it on the rest but I do want to make sure that I have enough up here, so sometimes I will go in again and just add a little bit more. And that's it. Just really, really natural. The last thing I will typically do is put some mascara on. I've been using this um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Is it L'Oreal? Yeah, L'Oreal. And then eyelashes. It is so easy to not wear SPF on days that it's kind of like overcast because you're like, oh, pff, the sun isn't here. No, it is. It's here. The rays are coming in. So always, always, always use SPF, even on days where it just looks like the sun is nowhere to be seen. Man, I feel like this is such a chatty vlog. I'm sorry, guys. So, like, grab a tea or get ready with me because... It's gonna be very chatty. One of the reasons I love this mascara is because of how natural it makes your lashes look. In fact, um, I don't know where I read this, but supposedly Audrey Hepburn used to individually, or I guess not her, her makeup artist, she used to grab like a needle and individually separate all her lashes. If I had that time, I would do that. I love that super natural, like flawless kind of separated lash look and that's something that this mascara really does and um, it just looks really pretty but the mascara that is unbeatable is Glossier's mascara their lash look just doesn't get better than that
And of course, a little bit of brow gel. This is my Glossier Boy Brow. Just the best, honestly. This doesn't get better than this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the product that started my love affair with Rare Beauty was their Tinted Balm. For really natural days, I honestly just love to kind of tap this on my lips. I find it just gives like a more natural tint. That is it for my makeup. It is really, honestly, just a really simple kind of everyday look. Oh my god, look at my curls. It's just really quick and easy. The last thing I kind of like to do, um, especially because I find that my bronzer fades throughout the day, is I will go in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer, Omega bronzer, and just touch up my cheeks. And that is it. That is my makeup. It's really quick and easy, especially if like, you're going to work. Um, it's really nice that way because you are getting coverage, but it's also just really natural. Um, if we want something less, I honestly often just don't even use the tinted moisturizer. I just put the um, like contour on my face, concealer, and everything else, and I'm set to go. Um, before we go, we are actually going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to take you with me. Uh, we have no food in the house. So we're going to walk to the grocery store, hopefully before it rains, because it is supposed to rain at like 2 o'clock. Um, but, um, yeah, we're gonna go pick up some food and just go about our day. When I get back, I do have to do loads of work. So that's kind of gonna be the plan for today. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna get dressed. Um, that way we can go get groceries before the rain comes down on us because I can see it. It's coming. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, so I am finished getting myself ready. I kind of fixed my hair because I do have a lot of curlies up front. So I just straightened the front of my hair and just kind of put it back really neatly. But what I'm gonna be wearing today is just, I got myself my kind of black Aritzia skirt, the really flowy one. If you saw my capsule wardrobe video, which I will leave up here, um, you will have seen this skirt. And then the same crew neck from that video. Um, but underneath, I actually am wearing my Zara body. Um, it's the one from the Limitless Contour Collection. I just, the reality is like when I go out, I get really cold. And then when I come home, I get really hot. And something that I like to do is I like to layer like tank tops or body suits underneath my sweaters. That way when I do get hot, I can just take off the sweater and I'm dressed like I don't need to change my outfit. Um, so that's what I'm going to be wearing Truth be told, I'm just going to put my sneakers with this because I want to be comfortable, especially because we're walking and we're going to be getting groceries. Um, Jewelry-wise, I went with my Nord Green watch. I just think this adds such a beautiful color to the outfit. So <laughs> that's what I'm wearing today. Really simple and comfy and just still presentable. So what I'm going to do right now, I am going to grab kind of bags, reusable bags and get all that stuff to go get groceries. Thankfully, we're really close to a grocery store. It's not like we have to walk a super long distance. Um, but I'm gonna grab all my reusable bags and I'm gonna get, get out of here before the rain comes. So we're heading to the grocery store. Um, oh my God, what an event. What? It's really an important event, baby. part of my day. Got my croissant. I got a coffee. It's really, really pretty out today. Um, it's kind of chilly, but it's sunny, so it's like a really nice temperature. But we're gonna grab food. We have zero things at home. <laughs> we have nothing at home. It's been a couple hours since we got back from the grocery store, and um, dinner is served. We are having ceviche with some kind of crackers and lime. Um, I will explain what this is later, but right now I'm gonna sit and eat because I'm really hungry, so yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm in a different outfit every time I talk to you. Um, but what we had for dinner was ceviche. Ceviche is essentially shrimp 
in like a pink sauce so um like ketchup and mayo and it's got like cilantro and um, onion in it it's a dish i honestly had a lot as a child so if you don't know, I was born in Venezuela and when I grew up, we used to go to the beach a lot and we would get ceviche off of like these little fishing boats um, at the beach and you would just get it served in a little kind of a clear cup and it would come with your shrimp and your pink sauce on top and you would just eat it with like a spoon or fork and it's so good. I used to have that a lot as a child so um, it was really nice. I haven't had it in a very, very long time. So it was really yummy, but um, now I'm just waiting for him to bring up cheesecake. We ordered cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Um, so good. My favorite is the white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comments. I'm, just, I'm curious to see what your favorite flavor is from Cheesecake Factory, but white chocolate raspberry cheesecake is my favorite. Um, that's the one I've been getting from there for years and it's so good. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um, I also, I want to sit down with you and show you a couple Zara pieces. So I am obviously planning to do haul soon and I've, I did a huge order because obviously a lot of the times things don't kind of work. So I have to return them and then get things that I really want to show you. But there are two pieces that will be going back, actually three pieces that will be going back. And I want to just chat with you um, a little bit about those pieces because I think they're not cheap. Um, and I just don't think that they're worth the price. So I want to sit down with you and show you those pieces. Although they're beautiful, I don't know. I would recommend them personally. One of them I'm a little bit unsure about. But anyways, regardless, I do want to sit down with you and show you those pieces. Um, just because I think I think I want to tell you and kind of chat with you about them. But it's kind of the plan. Um, I'm really excited to have this cheesecake. I know it's gonna upset my stomach so much, but what can you do? So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for him to come up. today um just kind of wanted to tell you about last night we ended up having cheesecake which by the way was phenomenal and so when we ordered it we ordered three slices we still have like half of one in the fridge left but we ordered three slices and i was insisting on the white chocolate raspberry because honestly that's my favorite like i love it and i think it's really really good but uh, my boyfriend wanted to try some new flavors. So we got three different flavors. One of them was white chocolate raspberry. I think the other one was Oreo and red velvet. The white chocolate raspberry was the best. He admitted to me that that one was the best. So I'm like, I was right. But um, that was the best. And we ended up having that. Um, I was really, really full afterwards, and honestly, I just crashed early last night. I had a bit of a headache, so I just needed a good night's sleep, but I am feeling so much better today. Um, I find that when it's really overcast, I get really bad headaches, and yesterday was really overcast. It was really gloomy. Um, to be honest, I don't know if it has to do with the pressure, um, like the atmosphere. I don't know. I don't know. But I get headaches when it's overcast consistently. So that was yesterday. I had a really tough day regarding that. But otherwise, it was really good. Um, but today, I am feeling good to go. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I wanted to sit down. Because I know I said I was going to do this yesterday. And I just thought today was better. Because it was so dark yesterday. But I want to sit down with you and show you the three Zara pieces that I personally don't think are worth the money and they would just be going back I really kind of went back and forth on whether or not I should even show you these pieces oftentimes if I get pieces that I don't like I will just return them and I don't even talk about them but I do think that two out of the three pieces are rather pricey and um, especially one of them so I just want to show you them in case maybe you are considering buying them and you know whatever the reason may be I just think that 
I want to give my feedback on these because I think if someone would have told me that before I went ahead and bought these, I would have really appreciated that. So I'm going to grab my phone. That way I can have like all the names. Um, so the first one is the high collar knit sweater. You guys know I love my knitted sweaters. It's not that it didn't fit nicely, it did. It fit really beautifully. And I was really excited for the color, but this color in person kind of reminds me of toothpaste. It's lovely, don't get me wrong. It's really, really lovely. I just, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. So I just decided to sit down and kind of show you the two coats that just will be going back. So the first one, I'm actually going to get the names of these. Um, that way we know what they are. So the first one was the hooded coat. Now, in all fairness, this one wasn't overly expensive. It was $79, but you know what? $80 is $80. So, and this is all Canadian, by the way. So, this is the hooded coat, and I got it in, like, this purple color. Truth be told, I thought, and it looks a little bit more reddish on camera, but when I ordered this online, it looked more like a burgundy color, and I love burgundy. I really, really do love burgundy. I think it's such a classy color. This is a purple. It is very, very much just a dark purple. And I just didn't think it looked as classy as it could have. Um, also, I would have definitely have to have gone up a size. I got an extra small. An extra small would have been way too small if I was planning to wear sweaters underneath. Which brings me to my next point. This is not a warm enough coat. Uh, living in Canada, um, even just for the fall, I don't think this would be like warm enough. Um, so it is cute though. It is very, very beautiful. Maybe I'll get a different color. We'll see. <laughs> the next one that I just honestly was a big no. And this one was really expensive. So this one was $160, okay, at Zara. Um, this was their... So this was their long, oversized coat. Yeah, it was $160. I got it in an extra small. Again, I love the idea of an oversized coat. And I'm really... I am looking for, like, an oversized coat. Um, one, I'm not crazy about the material. Two, the fabric is super thin, definitely not warm enough. And three, this thing goes down to like my ankles. Like for me being 5'3", it is too much coat for my little body. It's just, I felt like there was more coat than there is Sam. So um, unfortunately, those two and three pieces with the sweater just, I cannot keep um, and I know there are quite a few of you who are my height um, so if you're looking for an oversized coat I really really just wouldn't recommend this oversized one because again it is way too long and personally I will hem pants and other things but jackets I'm not in I'm not a fan of altering jackets I think they should just fit well um, and coats I mean so yeah, but I know I, as much as there are some of you who are 5'3", I know there are some of you who are also a lot taller. If you are one of those lovely tall ladies, then I think this coat could actually look phenomenal on you guys. But personally, for me, I am too small for it. It just, it's not a flattering look, um, unfortunately. But yeah, that's it. Those are the pieces that I really just wanted to kind of touch on. I think that they are just not worth it for me, just for me. Well, right now I'm going to sit down and reply to comments because I have so, so many comments from you guys and I really just wanna sit down and take a little bit of time and reply to all of you because like I've said before, it's really important to me, so I'm gonna do that. But I'm also gonna end the vlog here. Um, I know this was a really boring vlog, I'm sorry guys. It's been really busy lately for me, so this is just kind of, honestly, kind of like a couple days in my life, just me doing my everyday stuff, grocery shopping, I know, but 
but um, so I'm gonna sit you down on a time lapse and I'm gonna reply to comments um, but yeah I will see you guys in my next vlog